Hello, besties, and welcome to another reaction. Uh, I got a song for you today by Marcus Miller. Uh, it's actually not a song. Um, I think it's just like a, a video showcasing his uh, prowess as a bass player because he hasn't got no title here. Um, it was requested for by Dave Beeson. Let's go check it out. The bass guitar, um, one of those instruments that um, if you're a music fan, you are definitely going to love because um, without the bass, um, most songs don't exist, you know. It just has this magical feel when it sits behind those songs. And um, when you go to a live show, the bass player, they are always just so cool, you know. It's like they know that the whole world is in their hands, literally. Uh, so this is great. I love Marcus Miller. I know quite a few songs that, you know, classics actually that he's played on. So it's very, very familiar to me. Um, my other two uh, uh, bassists who are favorites of mine are Larry Graham, who played with um, Sly Stone and family, obviously, and also um, a guy called Louis Johnson. He used to be in a band called the Brothers Johnsons, and he was just ridiculous. I think those three are the only names I can think of now who stand out for me when I think of bass players. I'm sure you guys will know many as well. But in terms of like the skill, you know, um, you know, uh, yeah, S when you talk of like skill, yeah, uh, those three, they're mega. And here, I'm enjoying it so far. It sounds more like a jazz funk kind of thing, you know. Uh, I'm hoping what he does is like um, he switches through genres. I don't want him to just play the same thing all the way through. I hope he switches so we can really, really see, you know, how wide his, um, his range is. I know it's wide, but for you guys to see. Let's get some more. <laughs>
I think the guy on the saxophone forgot that it was supposed to be Marcus Miller's show. <laughs> <laughs> he was taking that show away from him. Fantastic stuff. And what I just noticed as well is like, he hasn't stopped for a second. He's been playing all through this track. That's ridiculous. Not for a second. He's been thumping and slapping away all through. Um, he, he must have some strong fingers, you know, those guys, you know, with all that slapping and picking of the bass. Um, coincidentally, right, that style that he, that he does play, you know, the slapping that he does, it was like um, started by one of the guys I mentioned earlier, uh, Larry Graham. He started that in the 60s with the um, Sly and Family Zone Stung. Um, Thank you for letting me be myself. That's when that style started. And um, Louis Johnson, the other guy that I mentioned, who's like in the band called uh, Brothers Johnson, he took it a step further in the 70s and 80s. He was a bad mother. You need to go and check out that guy, you know, Louis Johnson. You either Google him. Or you check out the, you know, the songs of the Brothers Johnson and you will hear this guy play. He was ridiculous. And Marcus Miller, uh, you know, was the uh, new generation cat who took it over from the, um, I think Marcus has been around since the late 80s, I think. Yeah, late 80s. So he's uh, he's been um, at it and he's still going strong. And you can see that this man is full of talent. I'm a bit disappointed though because I was like hoping um, it was going to be like a showcase of, um, you know, different like genres. But it looks like it's the same song, so we have to roll with that. I was slamming <laughs> literally and rhythmically as well uh, fantastic stuff man the guy on the alto sax he came he, he came to work he wasn't playing at all man and also if you notice the the, the drummer as well he was like doing some bad stuff you know um jazz drummers are just like they're, they're something else they're not from um <laughs> this side of the world they live in in, a, in another sector uh, fantastic um i enjoy that but like I said, you know, I wish that um, uh, it was a bit more of a jam that went into gem different genres in and out. But um, it wasn't the case. Um, I wonder what the song is called as well, because it doesn't say what it's called. It just says Marcus Miller. That's all he says here. So um, maybe some of you who might know the song might, you know, tell us later what the song uh, is called. But um, it was great. I enjoyed it. And I hope you enjoyed it as well. And I was talking about bass players, you know, and... I named my three favorite bass players, or I think are three of the best of all times. Um, if you know any that you think deserves to be mentioned as well, uh, I hope you do mention it in the comment section. Uh, I must mention one person though, 
uh, in popular music, in terms of like rock music, rock and pop music, I think my next E will be Paul McCartney. Paul McCartney has some bad bass lines, you know. He's a fantastic bass player, but he never gets mentioned, you know. Um, the people just talk about his singing and his songwriting, you know. But um, Paul McCartney is a badass bass player and he's got some fantastic bass lines. So those will be my four nominations and I look forward to yours as well. Uh, if you enjoyed it, please give the video a big like for me and I thank you for that. If it's your first time here today on the channel, welcome on board. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Hope you come back again. Um, my name is Harry. Stay cool, stay safe out there. Most of all, stay beautiful in your heart and soul. I'll see you all next time. Take care. Bye-bye.